Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker, all right? You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, go, you know, that's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want, okay? But I do have to say that I will end this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion. Also, I will use code speak here, slang, uh, and some of you might think that's silly, but then again, so is censorship. So moving on. Y'all are free to disagree. I'm a freedom loving Aquarian. So yes, absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below. Just understand that if you're going to cite sources from places like CNN, you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because, <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. Um, if politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. All right, welcome on in. And we are going to do a reading for the week of May 30th. I seem a little down today. Yes, I tell you what, I think that all that Mars, um, Aries, Jupiter energy is, is really getting to me. I hope y'all are doing all right out there. Uh, it's been a swift kick in the AWS. So we'll see if that comes out, if we get any kind of spicy readings today. And um, you know what, let me start with a different deck. I just want to see randomly, you know, what is going to come out in this topics deck and we'll clarify with tarot which i didn't do last week but i did put out um the money markets report so if you haven't seen it please check it out especially those of you who are very concerned about what's going on you know with the economy and i think that is hitting a lot more people people who might not have been really interested in that topic in the past like myself i'm not really a money economics person okay but you know when when ends aren't meeting and you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on because I'm doing everything I know to do. Well, you know, then you start looking into these things to try to make sense of your reality. And uh, so yeah, check out that video if you need some advice. We'll see if, if any of that kind of um, information comes out. And I just, I don't know, I saw third house, which is very Gemini. We are in Gemini season, but now here we are into contracts, political correctness with the thought police, stable coins. Hey, I did not come out last week. I think it did. Wow. And do you see how many cards there are here? And I've shuffled these pretty good, okay? Um, even off camera. So, big tech overlords. Oh, yeah, people are... I just checked in with Twitter recently, and people are back on attack Elon. And I'm just going to tell you, if anybody wants to attack Elon, I'm, you know... It's too predictable. I'm just really some weapons of mass distraction. We got better things to focus on here. Um, with this Pisces energy, wow, that's kind of interesting. Why is Pisces coming up? Oh yeah, it's coming to me. We are coming into at the end of June, Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Yeah. 
some of you might already be feeling it, having to look back at things that happened in the past. Where were you too passive? Where did you engage in self-sabotage? Um, this could have to do with a lot of things though. You know, with this card, I am also getting rivers, waterways, and the last two weeks I've gotten a water energy. A World Economic Forum came up last week with Klaus Schwab, so we're getting some carryover of these issues where it's just not going away. Let me see. Mm. Okay, so I had to kind of sit with that and sort it out and see where things belong. And and I'm all, I'm honestly getting like, you know, there's there's three topic areas here, okay? And yeah, oddly, I feel in some way um, what's going on with stable coins, although this might not on the surface seem related, um, what's going on with stable coins is in some way being impacted by globalists at the World Economic Forum. It's also being impacted by what's going on internationally with war talks and whatnot. We know that a lot of people have sent money in crypto overseas. We know as early as what January this year with the um, protests out in Canada that people tried to go on these crowdfunding platforms, but at the end of the day, it was sending money to Bitcoin that proved to be stable. <laughs> now, oddly, the stable coins name there is, 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 you know, there's not been a lot of stability going on with those, okay? Um, that's a whole other topic for another day, and I am by no means a financial advisor, but um, let's see what we're getting over the next week having to do with stable coins contracts, partnership. I'm hearing international trade, okay? That just flipped. I'm feeling that one in the back as well, four of wands, okay? So what I'm seeing here is an issue, a matter of self-sufficiency and stability as well. And this might have to do with home front, homeland, something about homes with that four of wands, but I'm seeing and I just heard fortify, so it's something having to do with people wanting to stabilize and become more self-sufficient. So I'm getting some interesting messages off of this card. This could be the housing market. In some way, I have just heard leverage, okay, something being leveraged with the housing market. I'm also hearing something about soldiers coming home. And with this card, I'm getting a lot of money okay a lot of resources being i'm hearing funneled funneled into and through those activities and i don't know anything about soldiers coming home so <laughs> i'm you know i'm just telling you i'm honoring it although i don't entirely understand what this is about okay this is also about cultivating and securing stability and i am seeing an issue here as well about people trying to self-bank I just got another odd message. Some people are actually, um, mm, something about selling their homes or refinancing their homes or getting new homes from self-banking. You know, honestly, I, it's fuzzy. I, I don't quite recognize what this is about. Um, let me see if I can pull more cards to clarify what the message is here. Oh, wow. Battlegrounds. So again, something about warfare. But I'm also getting people that are in, in high places. And look at that marriage card at the foundation, which is very seventh house. We don't need to take this literally like that this is about married couples, spouses. All those spouses might be relevant spouses of people who have high honor. Okay. But I'm getting more of this partnership vibe off of this card. People who are, I just heard, profiting off of the warfare. Anything else? Oh wow, I'm going to redo this again because that that was a lie. Okay. Let's start over. Tell me more about this issue with partnerships. See, there's a lot, a lot, a lot wants to come out. Sudden changes, frivolous spending, short-term loans. Really? All right, let's go with it. 
Well, we talked about gold and the, the money markets, crypto and money markets reading that I put out. So um, I really see that this is also going back to the, I'm hearing international banking cartel, um, the long term, they're playing the long position, they're playing the long term position, getting a lot of payoff for what's going on, a lot of advancement. Um, I just heard easy come, easy go. So again, I mean, I'm hearing, I'm getting like a funnel, I'm getting a stream, I'm getting a flow, like it's, as soon as the money comes in, it goes out, it comes in, it comes, I, and I just heard cash flow, they're trying to create some kind of cash flow. Uh, I'm getting some vibe of things being done in the dark, done in hiding, done behind the scenes, strategizing, this is a chess move, and I think that based on these cards, this has been going on for a long time. Uh, again, military seems to be involved here. Whatever they're doing militarily, it's it's all part of their plan to profit. Look at that treasure trove, okay? And things might seem on the surface to the, those of us who don't know uh, the hidden agenda, they might seem that things are spiraling out of control, but actually it's going upward for them. Uh, some of us, right, humanity right now, uh, because we're we're not partnered in with the the profiteers, the war profiteers. It, for us, the reality looks like it's spiraling out of control um, in a downward cycle. For them, it is spiraling up. And again, this has to do with connections. Okay, I'm seeing with this card connections and people promoting each other forward despite their failures, which are all planned. Nobody's stupid here. You can't have this many highly paid, highly educated, well-connected people who are all this stupid all at once. If it looks like it's not making sense to you, understand it's making sense for someone and sit back and think about how might this make sense for them. They don't see, their perspective is different than yours, okay? These people have a lot of money. Look at this worry-free finances, money in reserve. These are, I'm hearing brick nations as well. Uh, the nations that have been hoarding gold, stockpiling it, money in reserve excessively. Again, um, planning in hiding. I'm hearing protecting as well. And with this, Oh, that's very interesting, and I might go back to what's changing here, okay? Because it looks like a shift comes like um, some of these people who have been riding the wave, um, riding on the coattails of people that are really in high places. Um, well, their free ride is about to end, okay? I am seeing that some people, let's say, uh, who have tried to get involved in crypto because or stock markets uh, because they saw that people were profiting. I, I don't know it, how much longer that, that's going to continue to be the case. I'm almost getting the vibe here that the people holding the gold, they're the ones that are taking home the award, okay? And it was a long-term chess move in hiding And again, a lot of money at play here where people, some people are spiraling up into greater riches, others, many others spiraling out of control, losing a lot of money. And I just heard fallout. So again, I'm seeing that some people were trying to ride the coattails of these types, uh, but it, I'm hearing short-lived, it's short-lived. And now what we're gonna see is things progressing monetarily very slowly. I'm also getting a, some advice here that whatever you invest yourself in from this point on needs to you need to be looking at the long-term picture and you need to be looking at what slow and steady that is going to run the race okay not this get rich quick type um people gambling you know in the um, crypto market which is in the stock market which has been going on for the last two years a lot of money was made by a lot of people who were gambling stocks I, I don't know, those those days are coming to a close, okay? You need to have a long-term position with whatever you are doing. You need to look at not trying to make quick money, but, you know, positioning yourself in a solid way because I honestly feel 
the cards look like they're really good for the people that are holding the gold, honestly. And the globalists, and I hate to say that, but that's the way the cards read. Let's move on and see what's going on with this, uh, what's going on with the big tech overlords, the thought police, the pol political correctness that's going on, um, because it's all, it's all cultural Marxism. They want you to get rid of your cultural identity. They want you to get rid of your national sovereignty, right? So that these people can come in and tell you that they're in charge of your nation, even though they don't even live there and they never have and they never will. Right, putting your nation up for sale. What's going on? Yeah, all this wokeism, by the way, some of y'all don't know. All this wokeism you're seeing is cultural Marxism. It's what they're doing to break down the fabric of our culture. All this stuff getting people to focus on identity politics. Yeah, focus, focus on, you know, a person's gender or their, their sexuality or their race or their whatever, fill in the blank. Y'all focus on fighting each other. Don't focus on the fact that you're being robbed in broad daylight. And I do believe we're gonna get a ramping up of this as we get closer into the selection season, if you know what I mean. I'm getting King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords in reverse, King of Wands, mm, a lot of people here, Knight of Wands at the foundation. So I'm getting a few things here. I'm getting trust issues with information, okay? Trust, information. And I really am getting a vibe that these are like, unfortunately, these are the gatekeepers of the information. And I see a lot of shifty with this card, the Knight of Wands, a lot of shifty, shifty energy going on. And I think that people are getting pretty pretty peeved off about it, okay? These kings to me are representing bosses, okay? People who are running these companies. I'm also hearing thought leaders, okay? Um, I feel like in the next week, there is going to be some discussion and probably angered discussion at that having to do with trust in these communities and how it's just shifting. And I'm hearing shifting with the waves, the political waves, the, poli the political currents, right? Like there's nothing that you can really um, depend upon. And that just flew out. Let's see what that is about. Yeah, official, I'm seeing spokespersons. And again, I'm getting a female energy. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Okay, so I just heard peace offering, um, okay. So I'm getting a lot of Cancerian energy, which we're gonna be getting into more as the month progresses, uh, as we get into mid-June, okay? And I know this is for the next week of May 30th. I am sensing that there could be um, perhaps a female um, official with one of these tech companies, might be with YouTube, uh, might be with um, that head attorney over at Twitter. I don't know if we're going to see something coming out, uh, but something is going to get settled in terms of an offering here. Maybe a peace offering and it might look like, well, we're trying to offer you a bit of what you, you want and what you're asking for. But let's see, what are we getting on that message? Does not want to go? That's why these cards are really chatty today. There's that tree again, which is a lot about home, family, sense of belonging. Okay, um, might be a family business is impacted. Mm, strange message. Now, I really think this is about family, and I think this is about offering something that makes way for stability and growth. Okay, something that is allowing things to thrive. It could be a financial growth opportunity that is being offered. This might have to do with you know. Elon Musk and, and sealing that deal over at Twitter. Something's coming to fruition, right? And with business tools, needing more money, living well. Mm. 
they've been on a hiring freeze. That's that's an odd message, okay? So I don't know if we're gonna hear um, that they are hiring or lifting a hiring freeze. Okay, there's something having to do with, okay, okay, now I get it. So it seems that the issue that's been going on with the IT companies as of late, where they have been on, they've had layoffs, they've had um, hiring freezes, they're trying to cultivate more financial growth, financial growth opportunities. They are now in a rough patch. Interesting message, because if we go back to this other one here, we had that coffin show up. These are cards indicating, you know, endings, obviously, or something is has become dire. You know why? Because there's this, this uh, saying, go woke, go broke. And, <laughs> and this is a problem, like, um, right, Twitter has announced that they're not profiting and they don't care because even their spokesperson who was caught by Project Veritas um, is on camera saying that you, they know they're not profiting, but it's more about ideology for them than profit. Well, I mean, how does that work out? Because I can't run a business based on my ideologies in this economy. How am I going to pay my bills? But when you have people like that, you, you know, it's the reason they're able to financially stay afloat is because they're getting, you know, kickbacks funding grants from these kind of people who are telling them what correct think is, which then makes their followers pretty angry and resentful and rightly so because trust in the communications has been compromised. I mean, generally in tarot, if we're looking at King of Wands, we're talking about somebody who's like an entrepreneur, somebody who is in media relations, marketing. What happens when you you piss off your audience which is the product by the way no it's it's not the content right you are the product on social media platforms your attention that you give to their advertisers is the product or in this case your attention to the thoughts that they're shaping and molding your attention to um Gosh, where did I see it? The um, the thought police. I, 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 I'm gonna get off of that. <laughs> it seemed like I saw King of Swords somewhere and I can't find it. Okay, but that's King of Wands. There's, there's Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, this is about the information, and it's not correct. And the reason it's not correct is because they they want to be information traffickers. They want to have the ability to shape and mold your worldview perspective to suit their ends. Well, I don't know, getting back to the cards at hand, I do see that next week. Um, perhaps it's a deal with Elon Musk, although he's a cancer and I don't see a cancer here at all, but just saying, um, there's some kind of offering to help with this rough patch that somebody is going through in the big tech community with um, funding. Be on the lookout for how they're getting funded over the next, I just heard year, okay? Let's see about this Pisces energy. I think this is more of a collective, but what, ugh, I'm gonna take the ones that landed up right. Four of Swords. You know, I, I think this is more of an undercurrent type of energy where people are um, not, not entirely talking or opening up about this. And it might have to do with healing, okay? Healing going on in the out in the world, you know, with these, um, <clears throat> you know, sick care issues that have been going on over the last two years. I'm also seeing something about a tired of the battle, okay? Or after a battle, somebody's considering something, maybe someone going on hiatus, all right? Um, there's a lot of deliberation going on here and with a five of swords, disagreements is what is being considered and oddly i'm getting a message of political incorrectness here so again it it, it goes back to this oh yeah okay i i am seeing the tie-in now i am seeing it now okay um look there's going to be a lot of smoke and mirrors because big tech has become new media you know it used to be legacy media you turn your tv on those were the information uh, gatekeepers. Those were the information traffickers back in the day. It's now become the big tech overlords. They are uh, trying to engage people in, you know, political correctness. They are 
bringing in cultural Marxism, um, thought police, right? Like with the disinformation board, the ministry of truth, um, guarding and protecting you against wrong think. <laughs> but what I'm seeing here also is mind games. So be aware of that. And I'm seeing that there needs to be some contemplation of this, some healing from this, particularly not just in terms of mental health and the truth with all these swords, but also in terms of healthcare issues and healing. And I'm hearing surgery, I'm seeing needles, and you know, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> Um, obviously with Pisces here, you know, Pisces, um, kind of brings me back to like 12 house stuff where, um, and Neptunian stuff, which is very much about media and illusions and delusions and manipulation, um, being gaslit. Can you tell if you are being gaslit by the media, by politicians, by the way, I have a video on my channel about that, how to know if you're being gaslit. Okay. Um, people need to think about this because I feel that uh, definitely as we get deeper into the month of June and we come more and more into this Neptune and Pisces retrograde, people are going to be contemplating, thinking back, deliberating over, well, they said this, but then that happened and that didn't actually turn out too well now, did it? Um, oh, yes. <laughs> Thought police, right? And somebody... Um, maybe what they believe to be true, it, they're held captive by lies now, okay? And I am definitely feeling around the 14th, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but around the 14th of June when we have that full moon in Sagittarius, we are absolutely collectively having to rectify what we believed with the facts, the truth getting clear on it and yes again we're being brought back to very wealthy men here these type of people that are pulling the strings out in the world at large they they own these people and y'all can look that up they own the fact checkers they decide what the truth is and they're the gatekeepers for what truth you're allowed to hear and see Oh dear. Okay. So, you know, ornaments, um, extra money, investments, mature investments. I'm getting uh, older, old money. I'm getting, again, I'm talking about these, uh, I'm, I'm seeing uh, baby boomer career politicians, cha-ching, cha-ching, kickbacks. You know, I think Elon Musk just recently put out a poll on Twitter asking what's worse, the politicians or the billionaires. And, and, and a very good point I think was brought up is, oh, what, is there any difference between those two? Because we're living in an age when, you know, if you're a politician, you're a billionaire. Why? Because you're getting money from these people with campaign donations, favors. And so, again, who's holding you hostage? There's some issue with debt with this card debt and loss and poverty and this is the win-lose dynamic that's happened here as a result of the head games the mental manipulation somebody's come out clearly winning somebody's coming out clearly losing and whoever's on this losing streak needs to take a time out and reflect on where they're getting their information from who's funding it and for what purpose because there's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on and guess what it's not just this week. Some of you might be hearing about somebody, I will say there might be talks of imprisoning some wealthy people, okay? But again, how many times have we heard about that and they never get put in jail? I could name so many names, so many, but I digress. Let me see if I can leave you, the collective, with some money advice for this week and it's already come out. Employment change, oh, I bet, for many of you. Because the reality is, the economy is slowing down. It's not just with the high-tech industry. Because, right, all the quick and easy free money is dried up, okay? Now they got to figure out how to make their money legitimately like the rest of us. Oh, but guess what? Even places like Walmart and Target are now reporting losses for the first quarter of this year. You know why? Because all the industries that are being impacted by inflation, causing people to buy less, 
is resulting in less sales for these companies. So they're laying off and they've got hiring freezes. This card says your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive change to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You're being supported each step of the way. Well, I was gonna say entrepreneurship, but some of you um, I think are really with this card being told, it's gonna be different for different people, right? But I think collectively we're all having to look at clearing debts. I just, I just parted with a lot, a lot of money last week. It, it hurt me. My bank account was crying, but I'm just like, you know what? I, I have got to get my debts paid down. I have got to because last year, and, and you know what? I'm personally sharing on this note because I know that this is actually very common. There's a lot of people that took on a lot of debt over the last two years to make it. And that's what I had to do. I had car repairs come up. I had vet bills come up with my, my dog passing away. I had dental bills that came up. And, you know, my daughter got into a car accident, things that were out of my control. Life goes on, right? And so in order to afford these things, I had to put these things on credit. And I'm like, you know what? Spirit has been talking to me and saying, pay it down, pay it down, pay it down. And it kind of hurt me to see that money come out of my bank account. But um, that's what I did, you know? And I feel this is confirmation here for the rest of us collectively, because what's gonna happen is, you know the inflation is not going away anytime soon, right? They they lied. They told you it was transitory. Remember that? Mm -mm. Oh, no, no. Buckle up. Buckle up. It's about to get heavier into late summer, early fall. By early fall, I think being in deep recession will be obvious for the majority of us. And these debts are just going to rack up more and more debt because of the interest and because of our dollars having less buying power. The longer you wait to pay these debts off, the harder it's gonna be to pay them down. You know this on any any day of the year, right? Any year of the decade. <laughs> That's general standard advice, but most definitely when we're dealing with inflation, hyperinflation, and you know, we've all got to avoid this debt slavery as much as possible because that's really what is going on behind the scenes is getting people into a weakened position which makes them more compliant to this stuff all right i hope that blessed y'all y'all hang in there i know you know the energies are not the easiest but hopefully we will soon connect again and um y'all take care